We have a bit of a mystery to tell you about in California, an environmental mystery. A type of blackbird that once filled the skies is now rapidly disappearing. As Bagad Chaban tells us, at least one scientist is pointing his finger at pesticides. These are the high-pitched cries of hundreds of newborn blackbirds in California's Sacramento Valley. It's something that I hear very infrequently, almost, almost rarely anymore. Ecologist Bob Meese has spent the last decade studying the tricolored blackbird, which once numbered in the millions. How much louder would this have been just a few years ago? It was almost deafening. The decline, he says, is unprecedented. According to surveys coordinated by Meese and his team at the University of California, Davis, the state was home to 400,000 tricolored blackbirds in 2008. Today, there are only 145,000, a 64% loss in just six years. There are parts of the state where the birds just appear to be disappearing altogether. Meese is now catching the birds so he can tag them and track their movements. He believes the birds' natural habitats are being increasingly turned into farmland and vineyards, which rely on pesticides that kill off the very insects the birds feast on. If they do not have enough insects in their diet, they simply cannot form eggs. So Meese is trying to convince growers to give up pesticides. Here at this organic rice field, the tricolored blackbirds are able to collect insect larvae to feed their young. The blackbirds could act as the insecticide. The blackbirds could act as natural insecticide, yes. If we can reproduce this specific set of circumstances in enough places in California, I think the species has a future here. Unless that idea takes flight, Mee says this iconic bird could be lost forever. Begat Chaban, CBS News, Woodland, California.